So before I start showing my actual design, I'm going to show you what nails I'm using because these are not acrylics, these are not fake, these are, I mean sorry, these are fake, they're not my real ones. So I'm using this set by Body Collection and they're natural French pearl petite and 24 nails. I'm sorry if you can hear music because my next door neighbours are playing music really loudly. But yeah, these are the ones I'm using and all I'm going to do is show you how I cut them into have like points like these so they're actually really short stiletto uh, nails so yeah what you're going to need is a pair of uh, nail scissors i'm not really sure what type of scissors these are i think they are nail scissors but they're really tiny and it's easier easiest to do and after finding your correct like nail one that fits you of course you just need to cut it so you can mark with a pencil if you want where like the middle of your nail is and then you just kind of cut round. Um, I'm not going to do that because I can see where the middle is but if you are not very good at finding the middle then please measure it because it's just easier. So I'm going to go ahead and Make sure to fire the edge of your nail as well because you don't want it to be sharp, you want it to be really soft and smooth so you don't scratch yourself. And I actually like my point kind of... I just dropped it. I actually like my um, point quite rounded, so that's what I like to do. But you can have it sharp if you want to. I think it's just less. Um, now, let me painful. just say, I did paint this hand while the nails were on because obviously I'm right handed, so it's easy for me to do the stripes. But because I want the stripes to be really straight, I'm doing it on the nails, then gluing them on, making sure they're really dry because you don't want to like press down your design. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to paint the thumb. And to do this, I've taken like a really long wooden stick which is actually a paintbrush, put some blue tack and I'm going to be sticking that nail down make sure it doesn't go anywhere so that way you can paint it easily and it's just fine to use now I decided to do um, my index finger, my middle finger and my little finger black and then I painted my ring finger and my thumb which are the two with the decoration I painted them white so then it's easier to paint black onto white than white onto black so I'm going to apply two, around about two coats of white nail varnish and the one I'm using is Gallery Colours in number 236 in Whitening Lightning and I think this is an English brand so if you're in America you might not be able to get this but just use any white nail varnish you have and I'm going to apply a few coats to that making, to dry, making sure it's dry in between. While I'm still waiting for that white to dry, I'm just going to be painting my other fingers black and the nail varnish I'm using is an Avon Nail Pro Plus in the colour uh, Licorice. Oh there you go. So I'm just going to be painting them nails and obviously if you're not good at painting with your left hand then um, paint them the same way we're doing these ones, like take them off then put them on and yeah. So that's what I'm going to So now that that white is dry, I'm going to be making the black, and what, well the black stripes, yeah. Um, and I'm going to be using a striper for this, and these are, uh, this is from a set of eBay I got. But the nail varnish in here is actually really dried up, so I'm going to be wiping off the disgusting nail varnish from there and dipping it in my licorice. And then I'm going to be making the stripes. So I've painted the stripes and I'm going to let them dry for like 5 minutes on the windowsill. And next part is putting on the gem gems and I'm going to be showing you this on my ring finger because it's already dry so it'll just be simple. Now I'm going to be using you. 4 lots of gems. I'm going to have small silver and black ones and purple like lilac. And then I'm going to have one bigger gem and that's going to be silver that's gonna go on and I kind of randomly place these here. there isn't like a certain pattern or anything but I happened to do these when I did them randomly I actually did three purples three backs one little silver and I managed to do that on both nails without even knowing so that was pretty skillful I think so you're gonna need a clear top coat and I'm actually using a maximum growth daily nail treatment by Sally Henson Hansen, sorry because that's all that I have I don't really have a top coat, a clear coat, so I'm just going to be using this, so use whatever you have. I'm going to be placing it all over the nail and then using, we're put, placing the gems at the, the bed of the nail.
after you've placed all of your gems, you want to apply a top coat over your gems to keep them in place. Now this may take a while to dry, so do be patient. But that is pretty much it. So I'll show you quickly um, my well, I'll glue on my thumb and then show you the quick placement, and then I'll join you at the end of the so video. So here is the end result. And quickly, I'll mention a few things that I didn't. The glue that I used to put my nails on is it came with the nails that I use, and it's a body collection, and it's called Pink Gel Nail Glue. You probably really won't be able to see that because the light. And also to pick up my gems, I just used a wooden stick and I wet it a bit with the clear nail varnish and I just use that to pick it up and put the place it on. So this is the end of the tutorial, I really hope you liked it. I haven't done a nail tutorial in a while and I think I might start again, just that I'm not really good at setting up these tutorials so the lighting's probably really bad and everything. But if you have any nail requests let me know and I'll see if I can do them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!